The legends speak of an ancient evil known only as Maids with Balloons. So here we are, you and I. We have reached the point in the day where reality slithers past us, and we exist in a time and place that is both within our consciousness and beyond all senses. With us on our journey to Neverwhere is... Maids with Balloons. I mean, we have to be in some sort of alternate dimension, because where in our realm of existence would anybody think to make a game called Maids with Balloons? So upon starting this abomination, we're greeted with a video that's kinda... well... Hey, Scribble Scrabble, what are you? Yay, we're almost done! What do you guys wanna do tonight? We could go to my house and watch cartoons. We watch cartoons at your house every night. Well, why don't we go to the beach? Oh, we can't go to the beach. There's birds there, and they'll poop on us! Hmm. Oh. Oh, and two and two makes five now. So I guess we are in some sort of alternate reality. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it all makes sense now. So it's here that we get our only narrative in the game. We can hit the seagulls and they won't poop on us. So your plan is to get balloons and then go to the beach to scare away the birds so you can you then go you to the to beach go and then not the get pooped to on. Scare away the bird to get balloons. Then go that on a scare away to the get and circus to get. But you're. Uh, oh. So to get these balloons, you have to go to the beach, the circus, and the freeway. Really? This is where the logic in the game begins to fall apart. Not even before the opening video is finished. Now I almost called it a. Cinematic? But that would imply that it's sort of, well, has some cinematic ideas applied. And not shot by a crappy camera with only one shot. I mean, who does that? But anyway, the entire idea is to go to the beach. But they don't want to go there because... There's birds there, and they'll poop on us! So naturally, the first, <clears throat> level, is... On a beach? Well, great! We don't have to go to the circus or the freeway then, right? WRONG! Well then, let's get poppin'! <laughs> oh. Beach! Right! Or, more correctly, a scared looking girl standing in front of some backdrop of a beach with some sort of alien creatures that hover above her with malicious intent and devilish eyes that beg only for the blood of the innocent! Naturally, their only weakness is balloons, because I guess Maids with Machine Guns wasn't a catchy enough title. It seems that this guy wanted to just film three attractive girls in maids outfit in a creepy hotel room for... personal reasons. And then one of them asked what he needed all the footage for, and he's like, Ah, video game! And that's when he realized he didn't actually have a game, and he had to hastily throw one together, and... Well... Here we are. Now I know it might seem like a cheap shot in the game where the main objective is to avoid being pooped on. Ew, it's in my hair! But the gameplay is really horrible here. Since there's not much else going on, I'll do my best to teach you something. Yay. Gameplay, unlike what most people think it is, has nothing to do with you pushing a button and having something happen on the screen. I mean, if I wig-waggle these two sticks here, this happens. But I wouldn't exactly call this gameplay. So, I hear you pine to your computer screen. What is gameplay, oh great wise one? Gameplay is how you overcome the challenges presented in a game. That's why I have no problem calling games like Heavy Rain and Walking Dead actual games, because they do present challenges. Now, they aren't like most game challenges, like, hey, bro! All you over here on this rail, then do a 360 tail flip to kick one real center and all they No, 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 no. The challenge, especially in The Walking Dead, is not here. It's here. But let's transfer back to the Maids with Balloons dimension. The game gets more difficult every 200 points you get, and each seagull you hit, you get 10 points. Now, the first wave is pretty easy and long and dumb 
and tail flip to kick one wheel so the challenge is at a minimum and therefore the gameplay well there is a little i suppose is almost non-existent but anyway on to the next level now the carnival stage is a bit better it kind of reminds me of that one game from game and watch where you have to get all the people out of that burning building only this one has a lot more shame you have no control over which way uh this made moves so you just kind of wander beneath her with a soulless dead face that has long since given up on that acting career not really much else to be said here i mean i guess it would have been nice if her skirt flew up here just to give me some incentive to keep playing i mean i assume pxe is over 18. we could go to my house and watch cartoons oh we brought you george oh no Oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, you guys are the f now, the last stop on this train of disappointment is on the freeway, which is both the last stage you play and a clever metaphor for this game being akin to roadkill. Now, I know it's a small thing here, but being a Texan, I gotta mention it. There's like no way you'd be able to cross the highway barefoot without your feet erupting into flames. But whatever, they're probably from the north where it's colder and they call soda pop. Weirdos. Now, using everything we've learned in the past two games, let's guess what the objective of this game will be. Well, you have to A. Destroy all the evil mechs made by the seagulls. B get hit by as many cars as you possibly can, or C, get 10 balloons to go to the next wave. Surprisingly, the answer is B! <laughs> At least it's what I did. Gnarly! Once again though, the gameplay is pretty lacking here. I mean, this game had three chances to spice things up, and it failed on every account. I mean, I guess you could have expected some sort of Hindenburg caliber failure when the title is Maids with Balloons, but I don't care. And you probably don't either. Now, I'm gonna go play Cthulhu Saves the World until the dimension shift happens again and I can return to the dimension that we have all grown to know and love. <laughs>